Hello, bros. We're back with another pumpkin beer review. This is the 21st one of this year. Elysian Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout by, obviously, Elysian Brewing Company. Held off on the stouts, which used to be my favorite, but since I got a kidney stone, they're kind of not my favorites just because they are not beneficial in getting rid of kidney stones. So, stahounds. I don't know why I said stahounds. This one finished last year, I think, 11 out of 33. Or was it 34? Whatever it was, it's a good beer. Give it the bottle test. It has that same pumpkin flavoring that all Elysians have. It's hard to describe. It's a multi... It's a multi sort of sour sweet taste, the, pump, the pumpkin. Obviously, it's a rather dark beer, not a wholly complex one, but it's a dark beer nonetheless. See what the Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout is spooky, spookily smooth and chocolatey with a touch of cinnamon. Yeah, I can taste it. 7.5, this has a yes. Unfiltered and may contain sediment. I don't think I've ever read the label before. Maybe I did. Obviously, this is made by Elysian Brewing Company, Seattle and Portland, Oregon. Inspiration. One eleven twenty five. So I don't suppose it will keep well. It might. You never know. It is a stout, so it's possible. The fact that it's unfiltered means it should ferment a little extra. But I don't know. Get a glass taste. Little, little more chocolate here in the glass form than the bottle form. Yeah. Sure, the pumpkin flavoring will come back. This one's a middle of the road. Not really sure where I'm going to grade this one. Possibly lower than 11 since the, with the influx of the new beers. Retains its head rather well. If you care about such things, I don't really. Actually, I do. I like it when it has a head on there. It tends to stay creamier. It's actually pretty good artwork. It's a very convincing moon. Wonder if all the pumpkin flavoring was in the 
at the bottom of the bottle because it has seemed to fade away into just a normal stout. Or my tongue has gone, what's that called? Blind, oversaturated with flavor. When I say the percentage was seven five, not feeling it at all, so. That's strange. I'm going to give it about a 7.5 as a beer. And as a pumpkin, we're going to go about maybe higher. Oh. Excuse me. Pardon. Maybe seven seven. Hopefully this hit some pumpkin flavoring out of this bottom. No, not really. It was all in the first swig. Quick point, I'm going to give it a 7.5 as a beer, 7.3 as a pumpkin. Would be nice if it had more flavoring, but very scant amount at the bottom of the bottle. As I said, it's probably unfair to pour seven eighths of the bottle and not the rest where all the pumpkin flavoring could have been, or as I said, my tongue could have went blind taste blind from oversaturation of but yeah a little disappointing but could be my own fault goodbye bruv goodbye